In this class, we are going to look at the documentations and various resources available for Oracle Visual Builder because those resources are very useful when we go ahead for development and we create actual web pages or web applications for our customers. One of the best way to find the Oracle Visual Builder documentations is with Google or any other search engine. I am currently using google.com. So here I am searching Visual Builder Oracle Docs. If you click on this first link that is Oracle Visual Builder get started. So it is under docs.oracle.com cloud cloud platform. Click on this. Clicking on this you will get few of the options over here under start here. So you can learn how to create a web application with the help of workshop. There is a separate workshop for this available. How to create a mobile application workshop and also a crash course video. You can have a look at this. Also you can set up your service that is you can subscribe to a subscription or the trial version and set up your visual builder environment. And also if you scroll down there is a community. You can post the questions if you are stuck anywhere in the community page. You can have a look at this. Also, there is a blog where the developers or the creators create the content and post in this blog for the various visual builder applications they work on. Also, there is a channel dedicated YouTube channel over here. You can click on this. Also, there is a cookbook for visual builder. You can go to this cookbook and you can find various layouts and the components which are available for consumption in visual builder cookbook. I will click on this cookbook once. So here is the visual builder cookbook as visual builder is built on top of Oracle jet. This jet is nothing but a framework. It's not a framework. It's not a library. Rather it is the toolkit which uses a lot of frameworks and the libraries and makes the life easy for web developers so that we can drag the components into visual builder application components page and we can create the layout patterns input controls data grids lot many stuff with the help of drag and drop feature available in visual builder we will learn in detail how we can do as we go ahead in this course i am closing this cookbook page also there is visual builder studio videos playlist this we won't focus much in this course because vb studio is much like a ci cd purpose also you can launch a visual builder from within the VB Studio as well as from the Oracle integration cloud instance as well. We will learn both the approaches in our next section. Also there is a Oracle University course on this. Let me click on this course. This is of great interest for beginners or the freshers in order to get the environment for free of cost. Suppose if you create an Oracle trial account, you need to have a credit card. Most of the freshers or professionals at the beginning of their career, they don't have credit card. This, so this will be a boon for beginners to get an instance for learning oracle visual builder i am clicking on this oracle university course here is the oracle university page for oracle visual builder if you scroll down there is a section for visual builder crawl with the name build visual application using oracle visual builder you can click on this details or else it will be available over here as well you can click on this as well i am clicking on this course so it will open up this window from here, you can click on this preview learning subscription. I am clicking on this button now. Clicking on preview subscription page. This will open up this web page. Here we have to search for the keyword visual builder. I will search for visual builder. Click on enter. From the search results, if you scroll down under courses, you will see a course with 10 hour 9 minutes that is build visual builder application using Oracle visual builder studio. Click on this. It will open this learn.oracle.com page. Here you can find lot of tutorials from Oracle. You can go through this in order to sharpen your Oracle Visual Studio as well as Oracle Visual Builder skills. Also, if you see there is a lab section, you need to click on this. And you need to request for the lab. I have already subscribed to lab. If you are not subscribed to any lab, you need to subscribe over here by requesting over here. You will get a tab. Currently, I am seeing a release lab, but you will see a request lab or build lab option. So it will be available for two days. You can extend as per your need. This is solely used for learning purpose. Let me go back to Google search results. And the second option what it has shown is get started with visual builder. This is documentation. I am clicking on this.
So this page is having lot of stuff on documentation for Oracle Visual Builder in Oracle integration. You can have a look at this. If you expand this develop, so the basics will tell what is Oracle Visual Builder and why it is used and the features in brief. In development, you can look at how to develop a web app, design a page, all those stuff, business object, how to connect with services, how to test and debug an application, how you can integrate with processes, common use cases. You can take up the common use case and build the solution by looking at these common use cases once you complete this course. And also there are few FAQs on troubleshooting as well and the management, how you can manage and optimize your build and audit your code using Grunt. All those things are available over here. I will give the link for all those stuffs in the description or under the resource section of this course.